In this video, we will be featuring the Jensen Global Digital Dispenser. This easy-to-use unit increases production and accuracy, provides ergonomic relief, and can be used in a wide range of applications. Items included with this system are an AC power unit and attached power cord, a standard 8-inch Hansen fitting to connect your air source, a foot pedal with a 6-foot cord that actuates the unit comes standard, but a finger switch can be purchased if this is the operator's preferred actuator. One each of our XPC series adapters with 3 feet of 5 30 seconds tubing, which have our unique white push to connect fittings that allows for a more secure fit over the industry standard barb fitting. A sample kit, which contains a variety of different dispensing tips. Two each of our lure lock air barrels, 3, 5, 10, and 30 cc, and a box that contains the stoppers for the barrels. Now that we have examined the contents, let's go over the general setup and operation of the unit. Plug the foot pedal or finger switch with 6 foot cord into the back of the unit. Connect your electrical power cord and then connect the dry air source to the Hansen fitting. Now we're going to attach a pre-filled 10cc air syringe to a 10cc adapter. Connect the white fitting adapter to the air out port located here. Simply press in the fitting and listen for the snap which indicates it's secure. This unit also comes with a built-in vacuum feature that allows for finer control over thick materials that tend to wick or ooze after the dispense cycle is stopped. Power on the dispenser by pressing the switch on the back of the unit. Adjust your air pressure to 5 PSI as a starting point. Now, the unit is ready to start dispensing. The unit has two dispensing modes, manual and auto. In manual mode, you simply press the foot pedal to dispense. The amount of material dispensed is determined by how long the foot pedal is actuated and can be seen on the timer screen. Switch to auto mode by pressing the center of the knob, which allows you to set a meter dispensing time. When the time is set, you must actuate the foot pedal or finger switch to lock in that time until the user modifies it. Once the time is set, even if you power off the unit, it will not be altered. If you want to change the decimal point for fine-tuning of your set metered time, rotate the knob quickly to either increase or decrease the decimal placement. This dispenser is very easy to operate and I was able to quickly make adjustments by turning the knob and significantly reduce the amount of metered material flow from beads to small dots.